This is a 2014 Toyota Prius Gen 3, and I haven't checked the auxiliary accessories battery since the car was new. As most of you may know, that battery is located in the rear passenger side of the car. It's underneath the mat. There is a little compartment that it's in. You have to sort of take out the bins and everything to get to it. Kind of a pain in the butt. So I don't want to do that. There's got to be an easier way. Well, what if we go to the front of the car? If I get a voltmeter, I can actually go to the fuse box, lift the cover off, attach the positive clamp to this post right here, this blade, and then connect the negative to this grounding bolt here, and I'll get a reading from the battery, because the battery directly feeds this fuse box. But again, now I have to acquire a meter or buy one, and I don't want to go through all that trouble. So there's got to be another way to check the voltage from that battery that's easier than doing this. In previous generations of the Prius, you could actually hit some buttons and have the voltage appear on the audio display. And those procedures no longer work for the Gen 3. Why? Because they changed them. So that's what I'm going to show you today. It's actually quite simple. All you do is you hit the power button twice, hold down the car button on the audio display, now turn the headlights on and off three times. Now my instructions called for four originally, but I noticed that in this car it only took three times before the service menu actually showed up. And that menu will present you with a failure diagnosis, function check setting, and service information. But this is the menu that you need to get into before you can check your voltage settings. Let's review the procedure one more time. We hit the power button twice. Don't rush through it. Hold down the car button. Now you notice I hit set up first before I hit car, and that didn't affect anything. Then do the headlights on and off, on and off, on and off, and you should get the service menu. Go into functions, check settings. There, go to vehicle signal. And on that menu, you'll see your voltage. In my case, it reads 11.9 volts, which is actually a tenth of a volt below what is considered a good battery. So I should consider replacing that battery. You definitely want to be in the 12 volt range. We can back out of the menu. And again, it's function check setting, followed by vehicle signal to read your battery voltage. And for those of you who are curious, yes, if you go back, there are other functions that you can look at and play around with. As far as I can tell, I don't think you can do any damage. You can do a systems check. It'll actually allow you to hit the recheck button to run it again. Everything came up fine in my car. So if you want to, you can experiment with the other stuff. Really all I'm showing you here is how to get to your battery voltage without any other instruments or tools. When you're finally done, just hit the power button. It turns off everything. And the next time you turn on your car, your display will be normal. Now, if you follow this procedure and it's not working for you, slow down the steps. Because I discovered that if you turn the headlights on and off too quickly, it doesn't register with the computer and it doesn't take you into the service menu. All you have to really do is just slow down the steps and then you should be able to get into the service menu. I hope you found this video interesting. If so, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, please subscribe, and as always, thank you so very much for watching.